Thanks, Neil. Uh, tonight was uh, a good old-fashioned tussle for us down here in Nora. We're uh, we're both uh, you know both excited and grateful to get the win tonight. I think we came in, uh, you know, physically. A uh, few boys uh, had stomach flu this morning, so it was a real gutsy performance from them, and I'm and I'm pretty proud of them uh, for for kind of sticking it out. Um, you know, I think I think if you look at the game. Uh, it really showed character. And when you look at Mark here and, and the tackle he made the game, you know, kind of saving tackle, I think it speaks volumes about the men and uh, just their fight and, you know, never give up attitude. So we're, we're really happy, you know, uh, with the win, given just all the circumstances as well as a very tough opponent. So, you know, we're going to, from here, we're just going to get healthy. Uh, we're going to get better. We're going to focus on the things we need to, to focus on that's a little more continuity on attack and and then uh we'll uh, we'll get ready for next week which is going to be a um you know a contest against the team that's playing the best rugby in the mlr right now which is uh rooney gentlemen congratulations on what a, a difficult one this was tonight certainly not an easy victory for you congratulations on that you stay top of log well, Rooney came out uh, after their big victory over the Giltinis, and they looked a little bit flat in their next performance. Uh, that certainly wasn't the case for, for the Rattlers tonight. You guys came out with a lot of energy. Coach, I think you got to be really happy about that. Some great performances, especially early on. Some great kicking. We saw Roy von Voigt do an excellent job. Jason Dam picking up the ball, stealing it, uh, saving saving a couple of, uh, close down by the try line there. And Escurza uh, did quite a great job, too. So you didn't come out flat. Uh, Nola never really threatened you. It seemed like the uh, the reason that they were close and knocking the door was oftentimes errors and mistakes on the part of the Rattlers, whether it was a line-out loss or, or, or penalties. But they were never threatening you at the game. Did you feel comfortable you had a chance to come back here late in the game? Because it was looking pretty grim there for a long time until they uh, they made that penalty and you got the chance to score. I like we kept chipping away. You know, it was one of those games, you're right, Chris, it was just kind of played from 30 meters to 30 meters. It was just kind of played in the middle of the field and nobody could really get a handle on the game. So um, I can't say, you know, we, we, we just knew that we needed an opportunity to get get into their 22 uh, just once and, you know, get a good set piece. We ended up getting a, a penalty, which is really off of uh, exit from NOLA. Uh, that gave us the opportunity, you know, we didn't, we didn't do that ourselves on attack. So um, we got fairly, fairly lucky there. We also knew, you know, after that, when we got to eight, seven, um, we knew they were going to end up inside our 22 again. Uh, at some point, um, they're just uh, too good to experience not to. So, um, you know, I think we were kind of waiting for that moment, but uh, that's where we focused our energy this week is if you look at Nola's scoring percentage, in the in the fight zone, uh, they're they're they've got a great scoring percentage. So we we focused our energy there. Um, I think the two highlights are going to show up uh, for this game when you see it next is going to be number one is uh, Mark, um, you're not giving up there <laughs> and just stopping that tackle. That's going to be the highlight reel. The other one is going to be Cam Dolan, the wily veteran, sneaking around there, grabbing that ball and stealing that try. Um, Mark, uh, <laughs> what's your reaction to that? That Cam Dolan try and and in your tackle. Thanks a lot, gentlemen. Um, scrum kind of went backwards. I actually we went for a pick off the eight, and to be honest, I uh, Jay Jason hit me and I got smoked. To be honest, and um, we got put on the pump. We got to the ground. I was in I was in the rook, so I didn't really see what happened. I got up and there was a try. Um, don't know if it was legal, but we'll see how it goes. Yeah. Um, in terms of my own, to be honest. It's just it's kind of the attitude we have of the team, and it's it's a credit to our coaches. It's a credit to the everything we've built here. It's kind of the never say never never die attitude. And um, I could have easily just scrag tackled him and just let him go over the line, but I got got the hook under his arms, thankfully, and just used my Irish little strength and pulled him back. Irish strength. <laughs> All right, gentlemen, a uh, quick question for um, for Mark and then a couple short ones for the coach. We'll wrap up there. But, uh, yeah, I think uh, Matt Heaton's grandma probably lost a few heartbeats again tonight uh, with this thing going down to the wire. But uh, for Mark, very quickly there, 
you 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 picked up some uh, good yardage there. You you made some great moves, but it looked like it was difficult to find space tonight against Nola. Did that surprise you, or is is, is that a, a valid impression on my part that it was difficult to find space against them? They they seem to close gaps down better than I expected to see. How was it from your perspective? I mean, Nola do actually have a very good backline. Like they have some big hitters, and they also they're pretty quick. Um, I just think the speed of the game, it's so hard to hit the lines or go wide because everything is slowed down two seconds, I'd say, just because of how slow the ball and how wet the ball is. So it's probably, it's ugly rugby to watch sometimes. It's exciting, but like, it's very, very tough in the field to go wide or to make something happen excitingly. So yeah, I can obviously, the weather probably, the, the conditions definitely played into the park, even though Nola are very, very strong G team and attack team. <laughs> And coach, um, I, I think uh, I can guess what one of the things that's going to be a focus for this week is going to be in practice um, line out in the first uh, half, 25, 31 loss, 27, another one, second half line out, loss, line out, loss, line out, loss, not straight line out, loss. I suspect that's going to be something you focus on this week. Will it in fact be something? And then the, the last question I have for you, coach, is you've got uh, two of your players that were made the Eagles made the selection. That's Ryan Reese and Chance uh, Wengluski. Uh, both of them have made it, and I see that they've made it in the pair down list of the 30 players that are going to UK to play. When will you lose them, and is it going to have a big impact, or will you be able to pick up a couple other players in the MLR to allow you to uh, fill those gaps as we get through the um, summer test series? Thanks, gentlemen, and congratulations. Yeah, we'll also lose Matt Heaton to Canada uh, during that time frame. You know, so um, but it's 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 not a loss really for us we're just we're proud of those guys uh for one and and we want to have international players playing for the u.s and canada and argentina and wh whoever else uh in our squad so look you know we knew those guys were going to be there um the planning for their departure started months ago uh you know if you look at some of the early rotations in the season uh, probably some head scratchers. Why were we doing that? There's, you know, to, to help them grow, you know, and we look at a guy like Mike Matarazzo who got into the 23 for the first time tonight. And we have just been pouring investment into Mike to get him ready for this moment. So, so I, I think guys, you know, we, we, we don't, uh, you know, obviously there'll be a loss. Matt's a loss. Reese is a loss. Chance is the, you know, second leading dominant tackler in the league right now behind Johan and and so we're gonna we're gonna feel it but you'll see guys like Jonas Petrakopoulos uh that'll step up into that uh into that role uh you'll see um <clears throat> Will Burke and and uh you know we've got Big Manasa and Vickis and uh so so we'll we'll figure it out uh, and we've been planning for it for a while. Congratulations gentlemen thanks a lot on the victory we'll see you next week I'll be up there in New York and and good luck at that game.